Hey guys, so I'm at the airport. Guess who I found? Be a little more excited in my video, don't play. Can you put the time on a rewind? Help me understand, can you tell me now? Why you made a war that we're fighting now? She's a little upset because she had to go through the non pre check line and I had to go through the pre check line. Wow. For a reason, she acts like she can't she do anything to without me. me. All around the airport. I didn't send her anywhere. I didn't send her anywhere. I told her to go somewhere. apply for clear. Otherwise, she was going to be standing in the, basic, in the basic line. Anywho, we're at the gate. Our gate's back there. We're yet. So, we're waiting for them to board. It's a four hour flight. We weren't able to get any cash. So. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Hopefully they have like an ATM in the airport. Cause a lot of countries, they don't take card, especially like taxis and stuff like you need cash. Oh, I also haven't booked where we're gonna stay yet. So there's a lot to be done. <laughs> there's a lot to be done. You have to just be a little impulsive. Like just vibe. Just vibe. Like just vibe. You are not just vibing. Hey guys, so we just got through customs. Um, we still don't have a hotel. We're about to get a little snack. We were gonna get a rental car, but I asked them how much, and they said $100 a day. I said no, but I said no gracias, no gracias. Hola. 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 <laughs> oh, that's our driver. Girl, why you, it's you trying. Not you do. Let me tell you how they try to charge us forty dollars for this. And one thing about us, we gonna talk the price down. We gonna we gonna they got ya because we don't even play like that. Okay, I had to come up out of that hoodie. But let me tell y'all how we still have nowhere to stay. So there's a problem with the booking. And this is what we figured. We just gonna go to the Hyatt. And hopefully they'll just let us book there. If not, there's a hostel 10 minutes down the street. And y'all will see us on the side of our road with our luggage walking to that hostel. So fingers crossed that we can stay at this height. <laughs> oh, also it's like an hour drive. Well, apparently the airport is not near anything. So we're gonna be in, in the car for a little minute. It's already three o'clock. So by the time we get there, it'll be like, 345. We literally just made it to our hotel. Um, there was a little bit of an issue checking in, but at least we're not homeless tonight. And our hotel is so cute. Like, I can't wait to show you guys this. And it's connected to a mall in the back. The location is great. Um, the people here are so, so nice. Like, the lady literally gave us a list of recommendations on, like, restaurants, clubs, things to do. Because we came here with one idea, go to the beach. I'm going to show you all the rooms. So, turned out Lexi missed her assignment. <laughs> I'm really tired. I literally got an hour of sleep. And I'm in the robe. I'm in, I'm in the robe. And I'm laying horizontally because I don't even play. We need to go to the bar. Because this is Miss Marg. If you don't know Miss Margarita. She's not even 21, but maybe we'll just go to the pool. I don't know, but right now I'm gonna take a nap, so I'll see y'all after my nap. Okay, guys, so we decided to eat at La Chapu. These are the prices, so you can see everything is really inexpensive, and they already translated into US dollars, so I love that. What are you getting? A mark. A mark, Miss Ma, I told y'all she needs a mark. Guys, it's literally the next day. When I tell y'all, after we ate, I went to sleep. And <laughs> I told my sister, I was like, okay, let me just take a little nap. 
and then I'm gonna wake up and we can go out because we wanted to go out to like these clubs that people suggested. I did not wake back up. So anyway, it's like 8 a.m. We're about to get dressed, shower, all that good stuff. We're gonna go find somewhere to have breakfast. She's craving a pancake and I'm craving a waffle. Today's agenda, we're gonna go to the beach and we're just gonna take it from there. We do wanna like go to a few clubs tonight or see how the nightlife is. And since I'm feeling well rested, I think we can make that happen. Here's where I made the dumb decision to walk to this restaurant. It was only a 45 minute walk, but it felt like forever. And I don't know why she's walking in front of me. I have the GPS. We made it to Bruto. We really wanted to go to like a rooftop type of vibe restaurant. So this is it. It was nice. The ambiance was great. And you didn't need a reservation. They do recommend one, but we didn't have one. I did post a recap of this on my social. So make sure you're following me. He's so sweet. On the way to the beach, guys. Our Uber is two minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we got some guac. This is where things just kind of got awkward. There was a group of guys and they just kept asking to take pictures with us and pictures of us. Like they even made a line to take pictures with us. And we were like, why do y'all want pictures of us so bad? I mean, I know we're beautiful women, but he was basically saying he doesn't see people of color that much which is also weird. Like this is Central America. I know you see black people before. It's not moving. How are you, baby? Hey guys, so a lot has happened since I have been able to update y'all. Let me just tell you about last night because we're about to leave for the airport. Okay, we were at the beach and we wanted to leave around seven. So, you know, we walked to the spot where the Uber dropped us off and we're like, okay, let's call the Uber. Y'all, we called the Uber, it said no cars available. And we were literally standing there for a good like 15 to 20 minutes, like just standing on the side of the street. Granted, it was other people standing there and it was dark, but I was starting to get like worried because I'm like, okay, we're an hour away from our hotel. What are we about to do? We ended up asking like these ladies, does Uber usually run here? Like, how can we get an Uber? She told us to take a taxi and she pointed to like where the taxis were. Y'all, it was literally one taxi. And it wasn't even like a taxi car. It was a regular blue car. Or a regular man, a regular car. It didn't have a sign of a taxi. So I'm like, mm, I don't know about this because they might kidnap us. So we were already skeptical, but the lady literally told us that. So we're like, okay, let's just go ask. So Lexi goes to ask him like, hey, you know, are you a taxi? Like, and he was not a taxi. All we know is he said something and went to go ask some other man that was standing on the side of the street. So at this point, like we're just standing here, like looking like, um, I was already getting like the sign to not even get in a car with him, but um, an angel from God, it was a couple, a girl and a guy. And the girl didn't speak English. The boyfriend spoke English, basically telling us like he was concerned because that's not safe and we shouldn't get in the car with him and we shouldn't trust him. But then I had the brilliant idea, ding, to call the hotel. And I was like, let me just call the hotel, have them send us a taxi. So that's what we did. It took the hotel like an hour to send us a taxi because we were an hour away. And it was double the price of an Uber, but at least we got home safely. And then by the time we got home, we wanted to go out and party and go to the club. But if it's an issue with Ubers, then we don't need to go anywhere because we don't have transportation. So we just came home, went to sleep. I was exhausted. And it's the next morning. So we had breakfast. We just finished packing and we're about to head back to the airport. I need to call the Uber actually. Hopefully there's cars available. 
it seemed like at night it just didn't have cars available or just maybe because we were so far out okay guys we're back in atlanta it's been real it's been fun they still staring Ciao.